If you're planning to run a subathon anytime soon on your channel, this is the video for you. Stick around to find out how to use the best timer tool for any type of content on your stream. Everyone, how are you all doing? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, The King, and today we are going to be talking about subathon tools. And in particular, we're going to be talking about how to set up a subathon very easily and quickly on your very own stream. No matter what type of content that you make, you probably more than likely heard of a subathon. These, probably as you already know, are when content creators or streamers basically stretch out their schedule and have some awesome prizes and achievements that their audience can reach according to some sort of objective, whether that being subs, bits, streamly packs, etc. Subathons can be a really awesome way to have a little bit of a celebration for an event or even to galvanize your community to boost the support from your viewers yourselves. So it's definitely something that you would want to consider if you have a special date coming up. And you can go on for whatever this is. If there's an anniversary for when you got partner or when you started streaming, maybe it's your birthday. Maybe it's the first time you ever uploaded a video or started up your streams. Maybe it's just a nice monthly thing you want to do. In today's video, we are going to show you guys how to use and everything you need to know about the free Streamloot Subathon Timer Tool. And trust me, if you're planning on making a subathon or doing anything like that, you can't miss this. So the free subathon timer that we've developed has the ability to automatically add time to your subathon's duration through viewer interaction. The best part about this is that it's fully flexible to your own liking. You can customize exactly what the viewers need to do in order to add time to your timer. This can be with purchasing some stream loop packs or subscribing or even actions on Twitch itself like subscriptions and bits activated as well. That's pretty damn awesome, right? So let's go ahead and jump on in. How do we actually use this and how does it work? So one of the coolest things about this is that, like I said earlier, it is fully customizable. To fully get this started, you need to have a Streamloots account. So sign in if you already do. And if you don't, you can easily head over to streamloots.com, sign away YouTube, Twitch, etc., and get started. So let's go ahead and log in. Now, once you're all signed in on the left hand side where you see Streamloose Creator, you're going to go ahead and work your way down to the Marathon Timer section. Click on that and then we can start setting it up. So right here in the top right hand overview, you will see the preview of what this is going to look like. So you can see we have two hours. It shows the link that we need to go and you can copy this and paste it as a browser source on your actual OBS pretty damn cool. You can then go ahead and customize this to whatever you like. If you want to change the fonts or anything like that, you can right here. So let's change that to whatever looks better. We're just going to go around it and you can see that the preview itself actually changes. If you want to make it bigger or smaller, you can do that too. We can make that to 12 and make it to 120. We can even change the color. Let's say we want something like red or green, whatever really suits our theme. Uh, we can go ahead and set that up. We can then change the time to the bottom or not showing it at all or putting it on the top to make it fully customized to our own experience. Now moving on, we can see that we can now set the duration. We'll have the starting time. So this is your minimum time of what you want to do. So let's say you want to start with a minimum of 60 minutes or one hour. You can set the timer. You can even do limitless. I would like to let you guys know that it is extremely, extremely important to take breaks as well. So don't just go for a 48 or 24 hour stream if you can't actually do it. Make sure you're taking breaks. Make sure you're resting because it is a long task indeed. So I don't recommend putting on the limitless timer, but you can set your max amount of time in minutes. So let's say at most you only want to do two more hours or a full three hour stream. You can do that. If you want to set more time, you can go for a thousand minutes or something like that. You want to go for 17 hours and 40 minutes. You can do that. This is going to be the maximum amount of time that the subathon timer can go up to. Now, here is where the fun part comes in. If we go down to the bottom, we can see that extra time can be added. Now with Streamloot itself, you can add some extra time in seconds. So let's say we want to add one minute for every pack purchase, we can set that to 60 seconds. Or if you want to do it for Streamloot subscriptions, you can do the same. And if you're not using Streamloot, which I mean, you should be anyways. But if you want to set this only to Twitch, you can still do this with subathons or bids or subscriptions, I should say. So if you want to add time per subscription, you want to add one minute for every sub, you can add those 60 seconds. For every 100 bits, you can add 60 seconds, whatever it is. Make sure your math is on point as well. You don't want to 
to have it all over the place. For example, 100 bits is equals to roughly $1 that you're going to be getting for 60 seconds. So if that's the case, you might want to set your subscription that costs $3 to maybe 300 seconds. So the math adds up. So this in itself is pretty cool, right? And if you're already using Streamlits, like we said, you know that you can make up to 90% of your profits, unlike Twitch where they take pretty much half of everything that you make. And with that, you can also reward your viewers for purchasing your packs or showing some support that directly intertwines with this timer. So let's go ahead and show you guys how you can do it. If you head on over to your collection, I have quite a few as you can see, we're basically going to go manage our collection and create a brand new card. We're going to create one and we're going to head over to create your own card. Now, you know, we're DBD, so we're just going to add in our DBD stuff and we're going to put add time. That's the name of the card and you can set these up any which way you want so once we have that we're just going to quickly save it so we can have that card ready to go and now we can actually make this so that it is a card that adds time to our subathon timer so once you have your card ready to go if you scroll down all the way to the bottom you'll see a section that says add integration you can click on this and see a ton of cool options pop up here specifically at the last option you can see marathon add or subtract time by clicking on this, you can now create a card that adds or subtract time in seconds. So if you want to add maybe 60 seconds, you can do so. If you want to get rid of some time, you can do that as well by changing it to subtract. You can add a ton of these, set up the rarities, etc. And now the packs that you're creating and people are obtaining and supporting you with will now have cards that directly affect the timer as well, making it all come full circle. So there you go, my friends. That is pretty much how to get the stream loots subathon integration working on your stream as you can see it works with twitch it works with stream loots and it's super unique as you can customize it any way you like and it's very convenient and easy to do it takes less than five minutes to set up i highly recommend that you use it and even take a look at stream loots itself if you haven't already created an account set up a card collection and you can get some cool interactions from your chat i hope this video did help if you enjoy leave a like down below subscribe for some more stream loots content sure you join our discord as well as always i'm your host the king we'll see you guys next time take care everyone